In this video, we're going to set up the final piece of the template apps. And this is the top level app that controls everything and that you will assign to your leads to uh, start up a temp to start up a campaign. So we'll call this so you have your letters app, your mailings app. Now the third piece in the top level is going to be your campaign template. I call this one templates. You can call it campaign templates, but then Podio only has shows the first like 10 characters of an app and it could get confusing with your campaigns app that we'll create next so I just call it templates and the item name will be template and doesn't really matter what you pick here let's scroll down the list see if I find something that I like let's use that looks like a template of sorts and table view as always Nothing here, nothing in the instructions, standard app type, nothing in the advanced. Create the app. And now this one, like the other apps we've created, only has a few few fields in the template. The first one would be name. Also a single field. The next will be a relationship field, which will link to the mailing app that we created before. So that's fine. This keeps searching. You've done once it pops up in the here. Call this mailings. Now in this relationship we want to be able to add multiple references. So this default option is good. Now the next uh, field we want to put in there is a category field and this is a type. This is more information, you don't need this field, but it's good to have something like this just so you can take a quick glance when you have a whole bunch of templates and see which ones are your yellow letter templates or your email if you want to set up emailing, text or any postcards, whatever you think you need you can put in there. And those are the three fields that we need for this. It's very simple. And now let's uh, go in and add a, the campaign template. So we'll hit save, pop out to the top level of the templates app, hit add template. This will be probate campaign number one. And now the mailings. We have to pick the three different mailings that we want to use. So in the previous video we set up mailing 1, mailing 2, and mailing 3 which pointed back to letter 1, letter 2, and letter 3 of probate. So we want to pull these in. We have to pull them in in the specific order. So mailing 1 comes first, then mailing 2, and mailing 3. It's important to pull these in in the correct order. If you get out of order, it, the global flow process won't work correctly. And now we have We'll call this a yellow letter. Now what you notice here is one little tip is this information here isn't quite exactly what I would like to have. And Podio allows you to customize what shows up here. But you don't do that in this app. You have to do that in the mailings app. So let's save this template. Have that set up. Come back to the mailings. Now hit, hit the wrench. Go to Layout Options, go to Reference Layout. Now the description feels what we like at the top. We don't really care less edited by. What we want to put in there is the letter. And now, not number of files. We would, I think the best one is to have here is the days from start. And additionally, we can add the sequence number, just so you see it. So we'll save that, go back to the template, open up the campaign template, and now you see this is mailing 1, mailing 2, mailing 3. The letter for this mailing is probate letter 1, days from start 1, sequence 1. Mailing number 2, probate letter number 2, days from start, and sequence, and down the line. 
So that makes it much easier to see if you just come in here, you don't have to follow through, which you can do by clicking on this. It follows you to the mailing. And then you can click on this to go all the way to the letter. And you're done, you just close that out, and you're back to the template front page. So that's how you set up your template. We use this template in the Campaigns app that we'll create later. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you.